Hello, everyone. This is D. Lee in the house. I got something to tell you. I had the most beautiful conversation with an elder regarding my disassociation, my twins and I. It was so beautiful. It was the bond. I enjoyed it so much. I'm going to tell you why it was the bomb. It was the bomb because I was able to be an advocate for children. I was able to be an advocate for those who were abused in this organization and be able to tell this to the elder. Oh, and by the way, I did record it. So I'm going to let you hear it. That's why I need subscribers. I need you to subscribe. I need you to subscribe, to like, to share. I want millions of people to see this. Millions, millions for the protection of kids. For the protections of kids right now and the protection of kids in the future that's in association with this organization because you know that they are not protected based on the two witness rule. You know they are not protected. Another thing too, why my, my conversation with this elder was the bomb because I spoke against shunning and told him that it's very unloving why can't a, a person who disassociate themselves cannot speak to a Jehovah's Witness and it's not in the scriptures? I told that dude that. He couldn't explain. He tried to twist the scripture there in John. But I let him know. That's not talking about disfellowship ones or ones who disassociate themselves from the organization. And another thing, too, why this conversation with this elder was the bomb is because I was able to reason with him and let this dude know that the governing body is responsible for the cover-ups. And that's why they settled out of court. He tried to reason otherwise. But it didn't work. It did not work. So my disassociation letter, this is what I did when I wrote it. I wrote my letter, took a screenshot. I had another screenshot, a collage that showed the court cases, the sexual abuse of children. And I put the elders in the group text, groupies, and I sent both screenshots to the elders. My disassociation letter, along with that collage that showed multiple sexual abuse of kids. I also took those two screenshots and I sent it to every JW that was listed in my contacts, at least the majority of them. I sent it to them. I got some response back. No, I didn't block them because I want to know how they felt. Some people say you should have blocked them. No, I'm not blocking anyone because I'm not scared of anyone. I want to know what's on your mind, what's in your heart. I want to know if you are concerned with protecting children. If you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are an advocate of children, or do you put the governing body over the protection of kids? So I wanted to know. So what, I, what, I'm, on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read four, four responses only. Two positives and two negatives. That's what I'm going to do. And you'll be surprised of the feedback those who claim that they loved me over the years. And I also took those two screenshots and sent them to... Uh, I was in a group text with uh, 13 other Bethelites, former Bethelites. I sent it to them. I sent it to people through Facebook messaging app. Jehovah's Witnesses that I knew from 25 years ago. 
sent it to them and told them, look, this is why I'm leaving. This is why my twin boys and I are disassociating ourselves. We love children. We love those who were abused when they were children in this organization. And like I told that elder in the conversation, they have my backs. Australia, Belgium, United States, wherever you are, ah, if you were abused in this organization, ah, I have your back just as thousands of others have your back. Believe it. That's why I'm thinking real hard on whether or not, whether or not to become a life coach, you know, just for this purpose, just for this purpose. So I'm going to let you hear that recording. But before I do, let me read you my letter that I sent to uh, to all these folks in my contacts, the, le the elders and so on. I'm going to read you my letter and then I'm going to read you the response that I got. Now, here you go. To the body of elders. This association. Due to the prevalence of child molestation and many other secrets in the Jehovah Witness community, Darren, that's me, the Angel and Octavian Lee, are no longer a Jehovah Witness. We are disassociating ourselves from the Watchtower. This has nothing to do with apostasy, but in reality has everything to do with the abuse of children. And I am an advocate of children. Abuse of children is disgusting to me. And for the Watchtower to cover up and gloss over the abuse is nauseating. The Watchtower is known for paying out millions and settling out of court due to the rape of children. You see, this is no joke. No lie. No apostate influence. You have real children. Real court cases. Real money. Real lawyers. Real judges. And real cover-ups. Similar to when the Watchtower exposed the Catholic Church for the cover-ups, it's no different. Christ viewed children. Christ expects anyone who claims to be his followers to protect children. Not just tell the parents to wait on Jehovah. If there were no two witnesses, if there were no two witnesses, that's ludicrous. When have you ever known there to be two witnesses when a child has been raped? A scripture in Mark 10, 14. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. James 1, 27. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look out the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Serving Father in Christ. We still serve the Father in Christ, which is appropriate because Christ said he was the way, the truth, and the life. Right, John 14, 6. And we are very happy in doing so. Our life is rewarded. Please don't take this letter personal. Please respect our decision and do not contact us. Please don't view us as a nasty apostate. I am a human. I'm still me. But I just love children. And expect for them to be protected. You understand? If we need anything, we will contact you. Take good care. Thank you. Now, this is the letter I sent to the elders. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to share with you the first two positive responses I got from Jehovah's Witnesses, from baptized Jehovah's Witnesses. And by the way, those who love me are still talking to me, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Can I get a boom? Those who love me are still talking to me. That's what I'm talking about. Now, notice this first response. One brother texted me back. You didn't answer my question, brother. I said, I said, are you involving me as in no contact? So he was concerned, you know, when I said, don't contact me. I texted him back. I said, nah, bro. Nah. I talk to, I, I talk, I'll talk to you anytime. But I'm no longer a JW. I am a true friend. And I will always be there for you. I don't have to be a JW to be a true friend of yours. That's what I told him. Then he turned around and said, Ooh, man, thought I lost you. That's what he said. We talk down to this day. Now, notice another positive response from a brother. When he texted me, I asked him, was he at the meeting when he heard the announcement? He said, yes, I was there. And he said he heard the announcement. He said, this, notice what he said. You're still my friend and brother. You hear that? You are still my friend and my brother. That disfellowshipping and shunning, a lot of people ain't going for that baloney. They ain't going for that mess. 
They're imitating the real Christ. And then I turned around and said to him, hey, thanks. I appreciate that. I haven't committed any sin. I just can't support organizations that have no sympathy for victims of child abuse within the organization. His response, I understand you, brother. I completely understand. Have been doing some research and digging as well. You see that? So, two positive response. Now, let's get to the negative. People who say they love B. People who say they love D. Lee over the years. Notice this. Imperfect humans. But you are going to take it out on Jehovah and Jesus. I guarantee Satan put that info out there to hook some of the friends. Unfortunately, he hooked you. Using scriptures to make your point sickening. And so close to Jehovah making this all go away. So sad. Internet is a dangerous thing. Satan's number one tool. I was really struggling with making the meeting this morning. But your selfishness gave me the added strength. Don't respond to this. I will not read. You see this? He's calling me selfish because I defend children. You understand? I put children's protection above defending the governing body or any organization that does not protect children and respond compassionately to the victims. I love the victims. You understand? I love the victims. I love children. I was molesting my own dang self. I know how it feels when I was a child. I wasn't a JW, but I know how it feels. And that's what I explained to this elder. He needs to come down to earth. Come down to earth, baby, and see how people are really feeling. Those people in Australia, that hurt the heck out of me. I love those people in Australia, those abuse, those victims. Now, let me show you this response from a sister who claimed that she really loved me as well. She says, people have, now this is after I told her I was abused. Notice what she said. People have gone through way more than you, but they never blamed Jehovah. They waited on and some are still waiting on him. And yet they have remained faithful. Our hearts ache for all that you have suffered. Jehovah's heart aches even more. It's not our place to tell him when to act, to correct the wrong. It's our place to wait on to wait for him. Just as your children could not tell you how to run your household, neither can we tell our father. Your choosing to side with Satan after all these years of faithfulness is horrible. Just horrible. You can try to justify it all you want, but you have been captured by Jehovah's enemy. And now you and your offspring belong to him. They lost their offspring. And now you will lose yours as well. So sad. As I said, if you all decide to come home, our door will be open. Otherwise, wallow in your self-pity and misery. Satan is loving it. But as for me and my household, we should serve Jehovah our God, the only true God and Father. Please refrain from further communication with us. This is the same JW that says they love me. This is the same person who say they love me. There was nothing said about the victims. Of in this organization in her text nothing 
Now, before I play the video, I'm gonna get to it. But before I play the video, there is something very important. I, I, I need to read this. I need to read this. This is very, very important. This is why I need you to subscribe. I really need this to get out to millions. Like I said, I want a million, two million views, million subscribers, two million likes, share, two million shares for the protection of the kids. Not me. I'm good. I'm cool. I'm cool. It's for the protection of the kids. That's what I'm talking about. It has to get out. But there is something, y'all. There is something, y'all, I really want to tell you. And this is very important regarding Jeffrey Jackson. This is very important. And it hurts my heart. It hurts my heart to even read this. It really hurts my heart. But I need y'all to hear this and share this. This is the leader of the Watchtower when he was there in Australia. I'm going to read to you when he was when the lawyer was questioning him. Please pay attention. And your family members who are still Jehovah's Witnesses, they need to know this. What their leader is, is, is uh, how he feels about the victims. How he feels about children. And I'm going to read his statement when he was there in court. Check it out. Now, this is, this is Jeffrey Jackson responding to the lawyer. He says, you see, Mr. Stewart, could I just emphasize, as a religion, two very strong things we feel. One is, we try to keep a high moral standard. Hold on. Secondly, there is love among the organization. Hold on. So we want to treat victims in a loving way. You hear this, right? You hear this. Notice the question the lawyer asked him. Just on that point, Mr. Jackson, and by the way, this is a transcript. This is no fake news. This is not from apostate. This is the transcript, which you're going to see in my discussion with the, uh, with the elder, with that dude. Just on that point, Mr. Jackson, has the governing body considered apologizing to survivors of child sexual abuse at the hands of elders? within the organization. The JW leader's response. I haven't been in any discussions with regard to that. Another question by the lawyer. Is that something that you foresee might happen? In other words, that an apology at least be considered the JW leaders, notice his response, the JW leader, his response. The governing body has apologized on other matters. So for me to say, I can't speak collectively for everyone. For everybody. But we have apologized on things in the past. In other word, areas, in the past, in other areas. So it is perceivable. Are you kidding me? The Pope apologized. The governing body has not apologized. Those who were raped, the children that was raped by elders, the governing body has not apologized. The governing body appointed these elders. The governing body, they're responsible. They appointed these elders. And the governing body has not apologized to the victims. That is, that's shocking. Now, keep this in mind as you listen to this conversation with this elder that I'm having. Please, keep this in mind. And notice how the elders, his, his response to, to me, 
it, he's an arm of the governing body. Not a protector for children. Subscribe. Share. Hit the like button. I want a million subscribers. Two million likes. Two million share. Whatever. Everyone needs to hear this. Because like I said. This conversation with this elder is the bomb. I love the children. And, and, and those who are victims. I love you. We need to protect the children and, and, and let Jehovah's Witnesses know this. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I took a lot of time. But look, here we go. My conversation with this elder. The sun's shining on me. It's pretty nice. But no, I'm, I'm a hefty guy, so. <laughs> gotcha. You know, so what's going on? It's, it's skinny, guys. Get that one right through here. Mm -hmm. um, so... I was, I was asked to see if you would be willing to talk to um, to the elders about um, about your decision. If you'd be willing to, uh, to at least uh, tell us why you came to that decision. Uh, would that be fine? Why did I come? How did? Well, I, I put it right. I put it in the letter. I understand. I understand. I mean, it's not. It's not like. Okay, number one, I mean, I don't have anything against y'all. I mean, I love y'all. My my problem is, my problem is with the governing body. It's not with the elders. If anybody really want to talk to me, it'll be the governing body. If they really want to talk to me. But I, I don't like the way they treat witnesses. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't like the way they treat Jehovah's Witnesses. I don't. In, in what way? Well, that's that's the thing is that um, usually in this in this uh, circumstance, uh, a committee would be formed, not a judicial committee, just a committee before just just to hear to hear your side on this and see if there's some something that you know we're maybe missing or um, that could be could be right. Right. I, I, dealt with. Right. It's not, it's not for any other reason. Plus, you know, you're, you're requesting to be um, associated and something like that. That's that's a serious that's a serious thing, and we don't want to lose you as a brother. If I just, if, you know, my boys and my boys and me, we disassociate ourselves. I mean, as far as like you, as far as the rank and file, the the, the witnesses, I still feel like. Like brothers, I still, I mean, I know, I know the whole disfellowship arrangement, you're no longer a witness and everything, but I still feel like a brother to y'all. It, it's not, it's not Jehovah's Witnesses. It's the governing body. I don't like the way they hide information from Jehovah's Witnesses. And I think they're setting Jehovah's Witnesses up to be shooting ducks because they keep blaming everything on apostates. They keep saying, apostates, don't believe the lies, apostates this, apostates that. And, and, and I looked up court cases. That has nothing to do with apostates. I looked up manuscripts. I meant transcripts. On, on child molestation, uh, with Jehovah's Witnesses, and the government body is not telling. They're not telling Jehovah's Witnesses that they're paying millions of dollars out of pocket, out of you know, uh, out, uh, settling out of court with the child molestation. Stephen Lett said it's a lie that they don't that they don't cover up for, you know, child pedophiles. But at the same time, he did not tell Jehovah's Witnesses, yes, we are paying out of court. We're paying millions of dollars out of court. And yes, there is a problem. Jeffrey Jackson of the governing body said, yes, there's a problem of uh, child pedophiles in the, uh, in the organization. Let me pause my conversation with the elder for a moment. Question. If Jeffrey Jackson knows that there's an issue with child rapists within the Jehovah's Witness community, why in the heck is the governing body not instructing the elders to contact the authorities right away as soon as they hear of a child rapist? Why? That just makes sense, right? Resume. And that's what I don't like when they hide information. They try to use apostates as a, as a scapegoat or cover-up but the screenshot that I sent, those are court cases 
real court cases that that actually happen. So you went on. You didn't. Did you see the court files yourself? Did yes. You see the court yes. Files, or are you just going to new sites that that say that these are the court? Let's pause this for a moment. Hold on. Let me tell you what I did. I sent this exact link in a group text to the elders. This exact link. And I suggest that they download the transcripts, become familiar with this case due to future exposure regarding pedophilia within the organization. And see, they're going to see this is real stuff. And if they don't be careful, they're going to find themselves in hot water, baby. You see, this is not apostasy. This is real stuff, a real case, real pedophilia within the organization. Resume. I read them. I read the court files. Because, you know, they type up word for word. Word for, I read, I read Jeffrey Jackson's. His, for his. Uh, so here's the question. Here's the question. So you're saying the governing body is paying millions of dollars for what happens in one congregation? What's that? Multiple, multiple, multiple. So let me ask you, Sandra, why would the governing body have to pay for somebody else's offense? Why would they have to pay? Yeah, why would they have to pay for somebody's offense? Well, why would the governing body have to pay for it? Why? Why? Because would that the white, be, because the Watchtower, the, the watch No, they're being sued right now. That, but it makes no sense there. If I, for instance, if I did something wrong to you, mm -hmm. all right, true, I'm an elder, but I'm also a person. If I did something wrong to you or to your family, you don't go sue the governing body. You sue me because I'm the one who did something wrong. And the governing body doesn't go, well, you know, he did something right because what he did in, in hurting you, Darren, is okay with us. They don't have that stance. Why would you send, Why would you sue the governing body for what I did to you? It makes no sense. Well, because the so governing... Why, why you know why? why? Why is that even happening? Okay. Elders are instructed. First, hold, okay. when, whenever there's an accusation. Hold on. When, whenever there's an accusation... The, the elders are told to contact the government to contact the, the legal department and the legal department gives the elders instructions and all they do is give them advice what's that all they do is give them advice instructions but that's why those two elders in Illinois got in trouble they followed the they followed the governing body's instructions on what to do when they were approached by the victim and they did not call the Authorities in some states, you don't even have to call the authorities. And then, and in that case, I'm going to tell you, in that case, you know, what you've heard is wrong. The who? Not our correction. What I'm was that? You right now. I'm telling you, in that case, whatever information is not wrong, because that's never been our direction. To do that's what? Never been our direction to not tell the police if our kid has been molested. It's not. Our, it's not our situation. It's not our. It's never been the case for any Jehovah's Witness to cover that grave of a sin. They're not going to tell that you. A, they're not going to tell you not to do it. Oh, they're not going to tell you. you. They're, they're not going to say not. So, don't call the authorities. So, so if they're not telling you, don't call the authorities. Why would you sell the, Why would you sue a, the governing body for telling you? Hey, we're not telling you not to sue. Not, not to not to tell the authorities. That makes no sense, Darren. So you so so you're saying not telling you if the governing body is not telling you to cover it up, then why would you sue them? If if the governing sense. body hold on hold on run that by me again. If the governing body is not telling you to cover it up, if they're saying if you just said they're never they're not going to tell you not to call the police, then in that case, then what are they telling you? The opposite. Call the police. Hey, look. If an elder gets approached by a victim, the first thing he should do is call the authorities. Don't even call the branch first. Don't even call the legal department first. Call the authorities. Okay. They, they should stress to the parents right away. So why call the legal department? Why? Because of... Why are they instructed to like call this. them first? Because of misunderstandings like this. No, 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 no. Why call, why call the legal department instead of... You know what? All the legal department has to say to the elders, as soon as you are approached, you call the authorities. Uh -huh. That's the first thing. And that will, that there will be 
that will prevent anybody, anybody from hiding in the congregation then. Anyone, because you're getting the authorities involved right away with that accusation. You're getting the authorities involved. That way, no pedophile can hide within the organization if you do it that way. Right. The governor body says if they deny it, if the if the one who's been accused deny it, and there was no two witnesses, there is nothing we can do. Okay. That's why that's why the organ the, the governor body is responsible. The first thing the governor body should say is you call the authorities. And that there that would scrap all the the two witness rule, uh going, you know, put and, and having the victim to face the one that, that molested them, the victim and the parents and all of that. That would scrap all of that. You just get the authorities involved because it's not just a sin, it's a crime. Right. It is a crime. That's an actual that crime. And, and I even, look, look, I even read, I even read, uh, in fact, the whole governing body is being sued right now because there was a girl who was being raped at, at Bethel and she went around to, you know, some big shots up there trying to inform them. And so she, she started her lawsuit like in October or August or October of 2021, 2021, you know? So, so the first thing, the first thing should be call the authorities. Don't play around. Don't, don't, don't be, don't be, don't call us right away. Call the authorities. How do you know that's not the first thing that's happening? Because the elders are, the elders are instructed to. How do you know? How do you know? That's the whole thing. See, this, my good, my, my friends are the elders. No, I said the elders said the first thing they are instructed to do when, when there's an accusation of child rape, right. the governing body says contact the legal department. Right. But this is what this is what the proper thing for the governing body to tell the elders is you contact the authorities. That would prevent a lot of a lot of heartache for the parents. Right. And the, and the victim because you're doing the right thing by calling the authorities right away. Mm -hmm. It's just like you know, it, 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 you know that to, to me that just makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense to me too. Look, it, this has nothing to do with with the body of elders and and what I'm doing. It has nothing to do with that. You know, it has nothing to do with the body of elders. It's just that. It's just that. The governing body and telling the elders, instructing the elders to call them first. To me, that's where the problem begins. Right there. Okay. Alright, well I mean that's that's how you feel. But as an elder, I know what my instruction is. I know what I'm supposed to do. And you're correct. A sin like that, something like that. It's not only a grave sin, it is a legal problem. It is an issue that the police have to get involved with. That's a problem for uh, the attorneys to deal with that person who's caused the offense to the other person who's, who's had, who had to deal with the offense done to them. It is true. That is a legal issue. That is a wrong issue. That is a moral, morally wrong issue. It is so wrong, there is nothing right about it. You are correct in this. You know, and I have never, ever been told, don't go to the police. I have never been told, hey, don't tell the parents or the victim to hide this. This is a congregation matter. No. A, a person not going to come flat out and say that. They're not going to come out and say, hey, don't call the police or... Well, uh, they're not going to come flat out and say that. But there's a way, there's a way you can, there's a way you can word things. You know, How did I word it? what did I say that? No, not you, not you. I'm just saying, like That's a person. I'm telling you, I'm telling you exactly what we're talking. That, that was an elder reappointed after he even after uh, after he was deleted for child molestation in Australia. No, he was reappointed. No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Huh? I know for a fact that once that sticks to you, you can never be appointed. I read no, the doctor. I I I I read the the an, another elder. In Australia, he said 
we deleted brother so and so and he moved to another congregation was reappointed he said that to the judge in court that's not right yeah i know but i'm just i'm just saying you know like stuff like that uh-huh because he was so open what congregation was that because because the because that elder happened to be just so open to say something like that what congregation was that See, that's the thing, is that when you start getting down to the nitty-gritty, and you go, you know, an elder said this, and an elder said that, what congregation is that? And then you go, really? Believe me. what congregation, he was just saying that this happened. Well, Believe me. Because if you're reading it in the newspaper, that there's a pedophile Who's on that? your on your body, don't you think that the, the brothers in that congregation will have a problem? Even the, the congregation itself would have a problem learning about that. They said the congregation. Really? What congregation was it? But I ain't paying no attention to that. Well, they said it. Attention. They said the congregation. I can get it. No, 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 no. But that's <laughs> you have to pay attention to it. Because it can help I tell you, you what, since I have to pay, I tell you what, since I have to pay attention to it, I'm going to text you the congregation name and the elder's name. I'm going to send it to you. Sure. Yeah, I am. I'm going to send it. Since you mentioned I need to pay attention to it, I'm going to send you the congregation name and the elder's name. I'm going to send it to you. Pause for a moment. Well, like he said, get down to the nitty gritty. Well, that's what I did. I got down to the nitty gritty and I sent him the proof of the congregation, the proof of the elder, the proof of the pedophile, the proof of the victim. And like I said, I sent him that link, the Royal Commission, so he can download those transcripts. Resume. However, I understand that you have... Your pain, your pain in your heart about what you believe the governing bodies do. I have, I have what in my heart? You have, you have pain in the heart about how you feel what? about the governing what? body. It, it, I, love I, they, I, I love children. I love children. I love children. I love children because look, I was, look, 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 I was molesting myself. No one was there for me. Okay. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. I told a sister the other day. I said, look, I, I said, I was molested. She said, well, you wallow in your misery. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm not miserable. It was years ago. But she was like, you wallow in your misery. And I'm like, okay, well. But I have a heart for children. I have a heart for adults who were molested. I worked in a psych unit, you know, with individuals who were molested um, as children. And a lot of times, see, I know it firsthand because it happened to me. When you molest it, you deny it. You know, you, you are in denial when you are molested. And, and 20, 30 years later, you want to come back. You know, you want to like, sometimes you, you want to you wanna meet your, your abuser. You want to face them and tell them tell them off or tell them you know just tell them how you feel but but like in my case it was like 20 some years 20 some years I was in denial no it didn't happen you know so those individuals in Australia that was raped years ago I can understand why they come back because it happened to me and I know that feeling I was in denial for years oh it didn't happen you know because you're so shamed embarrassed you know, and and uh, so I can feel them. I can feel. I I have a lot of sympathy for for children that were molested. I have lots of sympathy for them, and uh, and that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I feel like uh, you know I have to. Not that I have to do anything, but I'm I'm I, I have their backs. You know. Okay. They have I have their backs. They have my heart. You know, and 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 it, it's all about the children. It's I all mean, about the children. Very, yes, indeed. The adults. Personal. Oh my goodness. Not yeah, personal and just life. You know, just just life in general. There's a lot of organizations who really stand up for kids, for adults. You know, for adults who were molested. You know, because, you know, they they got that big heart and they they have a lot of compassion for them. You know, so I have a lot of compassion for the adults who were molested. And and and, and to be disassociated. 
that's all I just want to do. You know, me and my okay. boys. It's, it's no hate. Okay. I don't understand why y'all just can't do that. I mean, yeah, why y'all just okay. can't disassociate okay. me and my well, boys? There's, 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 a, there's a couple of things, okay? Just so you know, is that, yes, you can, you can ask to be disassociated, all right? And you just want to talk and see how it is that you came to that conclusion of what we can help. Is there a misunderstanding? If you don't want to meet with us, that's fine. But the second thing is, just as your boys uh, made the, the, the choice themselves to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses, we'd have to hear it from them that they don't want to be associated. In other words, it's nice, I mean, not nice, but it's it's understandable that you've made that choice, but they have to make the choice for themselves. Yeah, no problem. They, tell, they haven't told us anything. You okay. Have, but they haven't. So it's one of those things that, you know, if they want to meet with us, if they want to contact us, we'd love to as soon as possible in fact we'd love to meet with you guys as soon as possible so that you guys can declare it to us that this is not your choice anymore if you don't want to and that's up to you too but you know we just no i don't want to i don't i don't no i don't want to meet okay yeah because you know because let me tell you what if i meet i know what i'm i know other things are going to come out i know about the governing body other things going to come out about them so i don't want to get all i don't want to you know get up get off into all that but okay. but yeah okay yeah i let my boys know i let them know okay now you understand you understand the ramifications on the fact that disassociating i know how you feel i know you talked to to me about it and you said hey you know i don't have a problem with you so the brothers and y'all are y'all are, are my friends right it's the governing body that i have a problem with Right. You understand also that Jehovah's organization, we understand that the governing body is our source of spiritual food, that they're the ones that are being used to help us get our, so we support the governing body. Okay. So that would mean that as a, someone who's disassociating themselves, basically what you're saying is I don't want anything to do with anything that has Jehovah's hand or the governing body as his representative. So I don't want anything to do with his people because they all feel the same way as the governing body. Wait, what? You understand that? We, we, as Jehovah's Witnesses, unless you're not one of Jehovah's Witnesses, as Jehovah's Witnesses, if you want to work, um, we, we support the governing body's leadership. That they're the means that Jehovah is using through his son, Jesus Christ to give us the spiritual food at the proper time. I mean, you know that. I didn't have to explain that to you. But you know that as, as witnesses, we support that. Okay. And and so because as witnesses, we support that, then the thinking that you're having is not something we can support. The and thinking that, that I'm having is... The, the only thing I'm thinking is the child molestation. How is I that understand. How is that so bad? How is that bad? It's not. It's not, but what you're saying. Are you so? You're trying, trying to say I can't, them. I can't not talk to any Jehovah's Witness just because, because of all of this. If in the truth alone, you've been in the truth quite a while. Did you not know disassociation is the same thing as disassociation? I cannot talk to Jehovah's. I'm not going out committing crime. I'm not. Did I'm you, not doing fornication. Not that? Let's pause. What's wait, that? Wait. I see what they're doing, the governing body, when it comes to disassociation. A person who disassociate themselves, they have not committed a serious sin, not, what, not whatsoever. However, the faithful members cannot talk to them. They have elevated disassociation to the same level of disfellowshipping to silence that person. Because they know that person may have some evidence or information on the organization and they don't want the faithful members to hear it. So what they do, they considered a person who disassociate themselves as disfellowship to keep them silent. It's just like a person, uh, a person who becomes a witness of a crime. You heard of that before. And therefore someone silenced them so that they cannot use that evidence in the courtroom. That's exactly what disassoci disassociation is. The same thing. It's not in the scriptures. It's not in the scriptures that uh, faithful members or brother or family or whomever cannot speak to a disassociated one just because they want to just change their religion. They're using it as a weapon. Brilliant.
brilliant. Resume. Only the difference is, is one is, is helping a person to come back into the truth and the other one is just a person leaving the truth. It's the only thing that's the difference. One is asking for help and the other one is saying, I don't want your help. I'm leaving. That's strange. I, I, I under say, and you didn't know that? You didn't know that as one of Jehovah's Witnesses being a Jehovah's Witness for over 20 years? You didn't know that? Yeah, 34 years. 34 years. So I imagine you knew <laughs> that. I, 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 look, when, when somebody got this fellowship and I knew them, if I saw them, I smiled. Okay. I smiled at them. Okay. You know, uh, Aaron, I don't understand. This I mean, association I, is a serious thing to declare. Like, show me, look. show me in the scripture where it says disassociation cannot talk to a to a, to a brother. Show me where it says disassociation can't talk. Okay. And that is the reason why can't say hello. Yeah, that is the reason why we ask to meet with you because there may be things you don't understand. Still, haven't been in the truth of thirty-four years. That if you're asking me to show you a scripture, then obviously you may not fully understand what you're declaring. Well, I, I never read it. Okay. I never Would read about this association. Can someone can talk like to, to a meet? witness? Would you like to meet with us? And we can talk about it. So this way you understand the, the, the seriousness of what you're asking to do. It doesn't really take, it doesn't, to, it doesn't take it the doesn't, meat. So you're it, saying it, I can't talk to, I cannot talk to a Jehovah's Witness because I can't say hi. I can't say how the family is doing. I can't do anything like, leave, leaving yes. religion aside, not even talking scriptures. You say I just can't have a normal conversation with the Jehovah's let Witness. Me, let me ask you something. That don't how make did you sense. Treat someone who, how did you treat someone who was disfellowship? Well, I told you, I, I smiled at them. If they, okay, and if they, if they want, if they would have started talking to me, I would have started talking to them. And that is, that is where we stand apart. How? Don't says, don't even greet a person like that. Who's this? How did, you, how did you not read that? That's talking about. That's talking that about that Antichrist. That? During no, John, it's not talking about it. It's yes, it is. No, it yes, it is. In Second John, and, and there in John, I read that over and over and over. If you look at the context, when it says "don't greet," that's talking about an antichrist, a person who does not believe in Christ, and who is pushing that message. That's what that's talking about. It's not. It's not talking about a person who gets this fellowship or this disassociation. The context, the context tells you it's an antichrist. And, 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 and just because I'm disassociating, I strongly believe in Christ. You and me can still sit down and talk about Christ. I'm not going to be an antichrist. I'm going to talk the scriptures so, about Christ. So here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The scriptures say that Christ had put, had put in place a governing body. Where where it say that? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Right. Governing body sure it is. is not in the Bible. You want to bet it is? That that word is in the Bible. Yes. Yes, it is. Well, you can yes. you can shoot me the scripture. <laughs> you can shoot me the scripture, but Well, he just lied and he never sent me the scripture. I never received it. Resume. But I never read where it said Jesus Christ. It's over, you know, over the government. So what are you trying to like? So what are you trying to get at? What are you trying to? Why you why you bring that part up? That point up. Jesus, if Jesus, as the scripture saying there is a governing body. There are men that would take the lead, a faithful and discreet slave class. Okay. And this is the arrangement. And this is something that Jesus would have, would choose to, to feed his people. Then for someone to say, hey, I believe in Jesus. Yeah, I don't believe in the way he does things. Ooh. It's saying, what? What is it saying? It's saying you're not supporting the arrangement. The arrangement that the Bible said is clear and true. There is a governing body. And it's in the Bible. Wait, wait, look at this. Just look at this. Which governing body is Jesus Christ over? Is he over the Seventh-day Adventist governing body? In which they have about 22 million members. Or is he over the Mormon church governing body in which they have about 16 or 17 million members? 
in comparison to Jehovah's Witnesses, 8 million. Which one is he over? Jehovah's Witnesses. See, you're not unique. You're not unique when it comes to having a governing body. Now, where did the Seventh-day Adventists get their governing body from? Where did the Mormon church get their governing body from? Could it be that they got it from the scriptures? Like you claim you got yours from the scriptures? Now, which one is Jesus over? Which governing body? Well, according to the scriptures, neither. Because Matthew chapter 23, verse 10 says, he said to his disciples, neither you be called leaders because your leader is one, the Christ. Resume. Well, all so the scriptures. How can, we, how can we be on the same footing if you choose not to accept everything that the Bible is telling you to accept? Uh, uh, we can't be on the same footing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You be, said. We're never going to be on the same footing. Wait a minute. So that's. You, you're talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Anyone want to come to the Father? He said, he didn't say come through the governing body. He said, come through me. How do we get to the Father? Through Jesus. Okay. He did, he did not say governing body. Okay. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth. At John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Anyone who wants to get to the Father must come through me. Aaron, can you please meet with us? He said, come through me. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. It's another scripture here for it. This is the will of my Father that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. That's the will of the Father. It's Jesus. That's John 6, 40. You still there? Yeah. Oh, okay, hold on. So, look, let's talk about it as men together. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'm not going to argue the point with you. I'm not arguing. I'm just... That's, 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 not, that's not... We're not, we're not debating what's... With what you read against what the Bible says against what an elder says. It's not how it is. I didn't bring it up, you did. If you no, you I can not. still I can still you continue to talk. Elders in Australia, you talked about elders that you had friends with that told you stuff. You talked about how things you knew things that the governing body was telling us not to do and what they're, they're telling us to do. So yes, you brought all that up. But man, you don't understand you, you don't like understand. I've been I've been a witness for thirty four years. You know how many brothers talk about each other? You know, you know how elders were talking about each other? Elders were talking about other elders. I moved to Arizona. Elders talking about elders. Backstabbing. I moved to Pennsylvania. Same thing. Same thing. I was at Bethel. I was at Bethel. You know how many times we fought on the way to crew? Every day? They ran a brother. There was a brother from Georgia. Boy, they ripped that brother up. They ran him away from Bethel. Okay. Ripped him up. So you, if you're saying I'm so bad, huh? You have an option. You can either meet with us or you can't meet with us. I'm not point. I don't. I don't know all the people that you've talked to or the things that you've seen. It seems like that they everything that you've dealt with in life, all your experience has come it's culminated in this one decision mm, we don't even talk man, how can you say that? <laughs> you're saying that all wow. your experience you're saying that all your experience has brought you to this to this point all my experience, I'm, a, you know my bible my bible reading brought me to this point, the scriptures brought me to this point <laughs> because I, I take people the things that you heard, the things that you saw the things that you've been dealt with and I am so sorry about the fact that you have have been molested as a child. That is the saddest thing a person has to deal with in their heart. To know that they're dealing with that and to have to deal with the fact that you have a, a person out there that's done that to you. And that they, they are still living and breathing. You know, oh, but I'm I'm a, I'm a meet up with the worst thing in the whole wide world. It's I'm a, I'm a meet up with them one day. So I'm look I'm looking for him. So the thing is, is <laughs> because that you've you know you've, you've experienced a lot of things. Oh, uh, it's not, it's not. I'm looking for the guy well, Be, because you know because the Father and Jesus 
have given me so much peace, so much tranquility, courage, optimism. I have all of that now. I have courage. I have optimism. I'm enjoying life. I show love. I accept love. And everything is beautiful. It's beautiful. Everything around me, the people that I'm with, is love. There's, there's nothing. I'm not like the one witness, sister said, I'm wallowing in my misery. No, I'm not. I'm doing some good things. And people are doing good things toward me. And I, and I give all the credit to the Father and to Jesus. Okay. They make me, they, the way I feel is because of them. I feel great. That's why I was able to, I was able to write that letter. Because I feel good about myself. I feel okay. good. I feel confident. That's why I can even say I love y'all as a body of L. I love y'all as people. Just because this disassociation, all of this apostasy and all of that stuff, scrap all that. Just be human. You know, all those terms, all those terminologies that's being used that separates people, that demeans people. No, I just show love and keep rolling. And that's why I'm saying, you know, you, you were saying disassociation. Now you can't speak to us. I just see y'all as humans, precious humans that I love, that I really, really, really love. There is no malice in my heart with all of this. Yeah, yeah, this is no, the, this fellowship and disassociation, it's just like a person leaving Walmart. Going over to Target. Oh, is he apostate now? Because he's he, he, he left Walmart, went over to Target. You know, it's, 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 it's no big deal. I treat people like humans. And I want to treat Jehovah's Witnesses the same way, like humans. I don't like all this, you can't talk to me and all that. I don't like all of that. that. To me, that's strange. To me, that's a lack of love. To me, that's just the opposite of love. Because Jesus Christ did not. Jesus Christ spoke to everybody even to the point of speaking to the devil, even washing Judas's feet when he knew Judas was going to betray him. He did not shun because First he off, loved. Let, let's clarify something. All right. And you're, you're right. He did wash his feet, but Jesus didn't talk to the devil as a friend. In fact, I don't even have to, the witnesses sure. don't have to talk to me as a friend. I can just say, how y'all do? I talk to my enemies. I'm just, I'm just telling you. You're saying that Jesus, you, you're putting it all in with Jesus talking to the devil. The devil talked to him, approached him. Jesus didn't seek out the devil. What so about it, though? The, the, fact is, oh. the fact is, is that, look, like I said, what you're asking is, is serious. It is very serious. I'm still with the Father. Because you made a vow. Because you made a vow to defend truth. And you know the truth. Jesus is the truth. And the truth, and the truth that we know as witnesses doesn't have its its parts where you can accept and reject what is being told. The truth is the truth. The if truth is Jesus. If you don't accept it, then you don't accept it, and you're not following the truth. You're going uh, against. You you're talking against the scriptures. If you're if you're wanting to be disassociated, that's fine. You can be disassociated as, as a declaration, and you've made it. You've made it in uh, in uh, text form. Mm -hmm. We're hoping. To hear it from your mouth because you know we understand you're going through certain stresses. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Nope, 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 no. I'm not going through the certain stresses. This the stress I have. Let me ask you one last thing. Let me ask you one last thing. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Shoot. Because I know that you said that you and your son want to be and want to be disassociated. Mm hmm Um. If you don't want to meet with us, that's fine. That's fine. I know that the elders know, and he doesn't want to meet with us. But um, if you would, please relay it to your children. I will. That they would have to declare it also. Okay, I will now, definitely. I, so, and and it's and I'm and I've got it correct. You don't want to meet with us, right? Correct. Okay. So I let them know. Okay. So, all right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Nice talking you with you. All right. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. There you have it, people. There you have it. You heard it from the horse's mouth. What did you observe? Who did who did this elder defend throughout the whole conversation? From the beginning to end. From the sunrise to the sunset. Who did this elder defend? Did he defend the children? 
did he ever defend the victims that were raped by elders, raped by servants, publishers? Or did he defend the governing body? Now, there's two things I want to... I There's a, multiple things I took from this, but two things I want to just touch on that I really find very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Number one, you notice that he did not acknowledge Jesus Christ as being the truth when he kept saying, I'm leaving the truth. I should defend the truth. When I kept saying to him, Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the truth. He didn't give me an amen. He did not say, Darren, you know what? You're right. Jesus is the truth. Amen to that. He never acknowledged Jesus Christ as being the truth. That's dangerous. What was stuck in his head? Governing body, watchtower, policies, teachings of the governing body is the truth. He actually elevate, elevated the governing body, the watchtower, the organization as being the truth above the Christ. That's dangerous, people. Very, very dangerous. His true feelings came out. Yes, it did. Number two. You have parents, Bible students right now, with young ones, with little ones, who are studying the Bible with JWs. They have no clue. They have no clue. That if their child end up getting raped in this organization, they have no clue the steps and the hurdles they have to go through. Two witnesses. Meeting the abuser face to face. Thousands of questions. Instead of the elders right away calling the authorities. They don't know that. They don't know that the elders will not call the authorities right away. They don't know that. That's why they need to see videos like this. This elder defended the governing body from sunrise all the way over to sunset and did not defend the victims. He defended a group of men that would not apologize to the victims that were raped by elders. That's whom he defended and say they have the truth. And never acknowledging Jesus Christ as being the truth. If he would have acknowledged Jesus Christ as being the truth. That meant he had to accept the fact that I'm not leaving the truth. Because I'm sticking with the Christ. He couldn't say, Darren, you're leaving the truth. He couldn't say that if he would have acknowledged Jesus Christ as being the truth. Because I told him, I'm sticking with him. They elev he elevated the organization above Christ. What does that sound like? What does that sound like? I'm going to let you answer that. Like, subscribe, share. Now, the victims in Australia, Africa, Spain, USA, South America, North America, wherever, you got our backs and we love you. Yes, we do. Boom. Boom. We got your back.